नमस्ते कृतिका इज अ हायली स्पिरिच्युअल नक्षत्र इफ देर इज एनी वर्ड दॅट वुड डिफाईन कृतिका दॅन दॅट वन वर्ड इज ब्रिलियन्स कृतिका हॅज द ब्रिलियन्स ऑफ सन and it is only through krutika that you can overcome the many obstacles and hurdles of your life because sun has that power to cut through and to achieve the goal the dream and so to me krutika is indeed one of the most beautiful nakshatra in this podcast i have shared many details on krutika and specific to when moon falls in krutika so let's begin action is what krutika wants krutika is closely related to lord kartike and lord kartike was a great kshatriya warrior he was the brother of sri ganesha and was known for his courage lord kartike is also known as lord murugan in south india he is the warrior god and so when moon falls in kritika nakshatra then the person becomes a highly action oriented person it is a good quality because there are many who continue to dream but never take the necessary action to achieve your dreams you need to act first that is exactly what moon in kritika natives are good at they take action they are highly action oriented fellows they will simply jump first and then think later in one of the greatest book of wisdom das bodh written by saint samarth ramdas swami it is mentioned in marathi language kelyane hot ahe re aadhi kele chi pahije which means by doing it happens so first you should do it Saint Ramdas simply wants you to realize that action is required only by taking action you can achieve your dreams your goals and your mission a true seeker should definitely read the wonderful insightful divine book of wisdom das bodh das means servant and bodh means self realization Around 500 years ago Samarth Ramdas Swami the guru of Shivaji Maharaj scripted this divine book which is now being translated in English for a wider reach Kritika is good at taking action now it all depends on what is the quality of your horoscope are you an evolved soul are you a meditative being because only then can you use this action oriented quality of krutika for a good cause for a good purpose my birth right is a very favorite phrase of krutika moon natives they always want to secure their rights be it human rights legal rights but they want to ensure that they get what they are entitled for evolved soul having moon in kritika nakshatra will never stand in justice they will fight back for justice remember in justice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere moon kritika natives rejoice when they are able to fight back and attain the crown of righteousness It is always good to have a friend having a moon in kritika because such a friend has the courage to fight for you especially if you are being sidelined or mistreated by others 
these natives will give you confidence by saying don't worry i am here for you kritika natives are those kind of friends who will remain with you when the whole world goes against you they are the ones who will stand with you they are the karna of this modern age reminds me of a beautiful story the story of two friends on the backdrop of the second world war two soldiers were very friendly great friends one evening one soldier comes back to the trench but finds that his friend has not yet returned many people have been killed on the front he becomes afraid is his friend killed he inquires and then somebody says we are not certain that he is killed but he was so terribly wounded that it was impossible for him to come to the trench by now he must be dead it is getting dark now and the enemy is still firing madly but the soldier wants to go and search for his friend the officer says no this is foolish but he doesn't listen to the officer he goes it is very difficult in the dark and there are thousands of dead bodies all around he looks and looks and in the middle of the night he returns dragging his friend's dead body on his back he himself is now terribly wounded he cannot survive the moment he reaches the trench he falls on the floor with the body of his dead friend the officer comes and says i told you not to be foolish it was not worth it now you know what you have done to yourself the friend is dead and you are dying too the dying man opened his eyes and he said but it was worth it because when i went there he looked at me and he said jim i knew you would come for a love life can be sacrificed it is worth it we have been taught just the contrary sacrifice everything just to be alive just to survive sacrifice everything however the master teaches you to be loving to sacrifice everything such is the spirit of krutika nakshatra the spirit of love the spirit of sacrificing everything for a higher cause a higher purpose but unfortunately many people and so called pandits have simply defamed this beautiful fiery nakshatra simply because they cannot stand the truth they are wolves and not tigers like kritika nakshatra people having moon in kritika generally don't like to retire retirement is not something they desire for they want to continue working until they take their last breath the wise never retires i have been with great spiritual masters and i have seen them fully active in serving people until their last breath and so one should never retire you may get an official retirement after the age of 58 in a government office however you should ensure that you remain active by doing something constructive for the society in general family wealth accumulation of wealth treasury is what the native is obsessed with power is what they want but this power is basically to strengthen their treasury and bank balance they want power to secure their future taurus is a sign that deals with the practicalities of life it is a highly romantic but you should remember that the word romance is defined as adventure in the english dictionary and so taurus men and women go through many adventures in life some are tragic some are enlightening but there is always action in their life being a sun's nakshatra the native is more individualistic he follows his heart he believes in living life by being yourself kritika is hot but this hotness is not of mars 
This hotness is of sun, the source of our universe. Mars hotness is simply sexual. Sun's hotness is highly spiritual. Understand the difference. Placed in the fiery sign of Aries and romantic sign of Taurus, Kritika, the nakshatra of sun, is all fired up to get things done. The fire to learn, the courage to take risks is what makes Kritika a very special nakshatra. And when moon is in Kritika, these qualities simply are exaggerated. Sun's sharpness comes naturally to a moon Kritika native. Being ethical, being truthful, being sincere and most importantly taking the lead Taking the initiative is something that a moon Kritika native loves to do. Kritika can do something new that is out of the blue. A woman born with moon in Kritika is indeed the tomboy of the house. She can take the responsibility on her shoulders and take care of her parents. A Kritika woman will never give up. She is a born fighter. She can also become a good single mom. And so Kritika is a nakshatra that can carve its own name in gold. It has the ability to bring a certain uniqueness to your individuality. Mohan's sister Mala asked, What is the spiritual significance of Kritika nakshatra? I said to Mala, you have asked what others won't think of asking. I will tell you now the spiritual significance of this great nakshatra, Kritika. Kritika nakshatra is connected with Lord Dattatreya. Lord Dattatreya is represented as having three faces, one of Lord Brahma, the second of Lord Vishnu and the third of Lord Shiva. In simple words, it signifies that this is the only deity that has attained the strength of Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh, that is Shiva. All the three gunas, Rajas, that is royal, Satvik, that is pious and Tamas, that is fighter, are found in Lord Dattatreya. And so one who worships Lord Dattatreya attains the blessings of all the three devatas, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. He becomes invincible. He attains great spiritual heights. Now you must be wondering that what connects Kritika with Lord Dattatreya? The bridge that connects Kritika with Lord Dattatreya is the holy Audumbar tree. Audumbar or Udambara is known as blue lotus in Buddhism. In English, it is called the redwood fig tree or the cluster fig tree. This divine tree is the favorite of Lord Dattatreya. And the tree that comes under Kritika nakshatra is also the Audumbar tree. So those who have moon in Kritika should definitely worship this holy divine tree, the Audumbar tree, on every Thursday. Thursday is the day of Lord Dattatreya. And across India, especially in the state of Maharashtra, Karnataka and Gujarat, the divine tree Audumbar is worshipped by the devotees of Lord Dattatreya. The significance and importance of the greatest deity that the world had ever known is found in the golden words of Bhagwan Raman Maharshi. Bhagwan Raman Maharshi quotes, Dattatreya is the universal guru, isn't he? And he has said that, that the whole world was his guru. If you look at evil, you feel you should not do it. So he said, evil also was his guru. If you see good, you would wish to do it. So he said that good also was his guru. 
both good and evil he said were his gurus it seems that he asked a hunter which way he should go but the latter ignored his question as he was intent upon his aim to shoot a bird above lord dattatre saluted him saying you are my guru though killing the bird is bad keeping your aim so steadfast in shooting the arrow as to ignore my query is good thereby teaching me that i should keep my mind steadfast and fixed on ishwara on god you are therefore my guru in the same way he looked upon everything as his guru till in the end he said that his physical body itself was a guru as its consciousness does not exist during sleep and the body does not exist should therefore not be confused with the soul dehatma bhavana the feeling that the body is the soul therefore that too was a guru for him while he looked upon the whole world as his guru the whole world worshiped him as its guru how beautifully bhagwan ramana maharshi reveals the significance and importance of lord dattatre just look at the positivism the hunter ignores lord dattatre but he makes the hunter as his guru because through him he has learned something new see the positivism see the quality of constant learning from situations i humbly prostrate to the greatest deity lord dattatre one who worships the divine tree audumbar that is the cluster fig tree receives the blessings from lord dattatre and kritika nakshatra as well the first nakshatra of the zodiac cycle is ketu's nakshatra ashwini from nothingness we are born ketu is that nothingness the second nakshatra of the zodiac cycle is the venusian nakshatra bharani this beautiful human body all the organs of this human body are the blessings of bharani goddess venus and the third nakshatra of the zodiac cycle is sun's nakshatra kritika body is formed but consciousness awareness comes through the divine light of the sun kritika to such a sharp fiery nakshatra of sun kritika i humbly prostrate and pray that may all my followers are blessed by its divine light the great hugging saint of kerala known as ammachi of kerala is born on kritika nakshatra i have been stating again and again that kritika is a highly spiritual nakshatra but people have become parrots and they cannot think anything beyond scriptures remember intelligence is dangerous intelligence means you will start thinking on your own you will start looking around on your own you will not believe in the scriptures you will believe only in your own experience ammachi of kerala often known as amma is an indian hindu spiritual leader and a humanitarian who is revered as the hugging saint by her followers in 2018 she was felicitated by indian prime minister narendra modi for largest contribution to the government of india's clean india campaign swachh bharat mission she was the first recipient of vishwaratna puraskar gem of the world award by hindu parliament such a great woman saint is born with moon in kritika nakshatra her ascendant is leo rising magha nakshatra one significant quote of amma is if japa that is chanting is maintained no useless talk during work will be possible the mind will always remain peaceful modern day diseases are mostly 
साइकोसोमैटिक चैंटिंग विल बेस्टो गुड हेल्थ टू बोथ माइंड एंड बॉडी I truly love those saints and masters who emphasize on the significance of chanting. Amma of Kerala is one of them. Guru Nanak is one of them. Srila Prabhupada is one of them. Gondavlekar Maharaj is one of them. Kabir, Bhagwan Raman Maharshi, Bhagwan Nityananda Swami of Ganesh Puri, all the great divine masters have emphasized on chanting the holy mantra daily but who wants to listen but those who have listened those few who have listened are truly the blessed ones my sharing is only for those few men and women they are the future buddhas remember the mind can be controlled only by chanting the mantra with love and devotion if you chant like a parrot with no depth at all then nothing will change in your life so whatsoever you do do it with complete devotion and love chant the mantra with love and devotion amma of kerala quotes the mantra which is of the nature of power enters the heart of the disciple from within the guru a knower of brahma just as water is used for external cleanliness internal purity is gained through initiation when a spark of fire is blown upon and ignites it becomes a great power the power of chanting cannot be expressed in mere words remember when you do absolutely nothing to bring a positive change within you when there is absolutely no effort to bring self transformation by adhering to a satvik way of life then you are always going to mentally suffer in life always remember suffering is necessary as long as you are asleep the moment you wake up suffering ceases to exist then you truly start enjoying every moment of life the key is to wake up and that is possible only when you start turning inwards and realize that the light of consciousness is within you the fire of suffering becomes the light of consciousness so stop whining over your suffering and start learning from your suffering the more you learn the more you become aware and then this awareness will burn up your ignorance yesterday mohan's sister mala asked do mental tendencies that is vasanas come from this birth or from previous birth I said Mala whatsoever you have done in your last birth the results of those deeds those karma is manifested in this birth and so now in this birth you should prevent the addition of new karmic cycle and that is possible only when you stop reacting and start responding and to make this happen the only way is by turning inwards meditating and chanting daily there is no other miracle in this world than the miracle that happens through chanting guru nanak says naam japo meaning chant the name of the holy lord the first words that he uttered became the mool mantra the mool mantra is actually his own god experience which he utters in the following words there is one god named truth the creator without fear without hate timeless in form beyond birth self existent known by the grace of the guru these golden words of enlightenment became the mool mantra of sikhism how beautiful is this the mool mantra is thus 
द रूट फॉर्म्यूला और द रूट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ सिखिजम सिमिलरली जैनिज्म हैज द नवकार मंत्र इट इज द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकंट मंत्रा इन जैनिज्म एंड वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट मंत्राज इन कंटिन्यूअस प्रैक्टिस दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रेयर रिसाइटेड बाय द जैन्स वाइल मेडिटेटिंग इट इज एज फॉलोज नमो अरहंताणम नमो सिद्धाणम नमो आयर्याणम नमो उवज्जायाणम नमो लोए सव साहूणम वॉट इट मीन्स इज एज फॉलोज आय बव टू द आरिहंस आय बव टू द सिद्धास आय बव टू द आचार्यास आय बव टू द उपाध्यायास आय बव टू ऑल द सेजेस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड This fivefold salutation completely destroys all the sins and of all the auspicious mantras it is indeed the foremost auspicious one that is the navakar mantra similarly islam buddhism and christians also have their own set of mantras the essence of this sharing is that every religion have emphasized on the chanting the mantra i think evolved souls born with moon in kritika can really progress much faster if they take to daily chanting since sun the lord of kritika is indeed the greatest spiritual energy of this universe lord sun is the source of consciousness to me sun is the supreme god without sunlight i cannot imagine living this human life the sun and planets represent the spiritual consciousness in the heaven world the signs of the zodiac represent the astral or psychic consciousness and the houses of the horoscope as a whole represent the physical consciousness surya namaskar and the surya mantras are therefore the greatest solution to all the problems of your life if you do surya namaskar daily and while doing recite the 12 surya mantras then you will always remain healthy and happy remember my words the 12 surya mantras are as follows om mitraya namaha om ravaye namaha ओम सूर्याय नम ओम भानवेय नम ओम खगाय नम ओम पुष्णेय नम ओम हिण्यगर्भाय नम ओम मरीक्षेय नम ओम आदिताय नम ओम सवित्रे नम ओम अर्काय नम ओम भास्कराय नम सूर्य कृतिका बॉर्न नेटिव्स should daily recite these 12 surya mantras for good health and happiness in life performing hom or havan is also very beneficial for kritika born natives since agni fire is also the presiding deity of kritika nakshatra a woman born in kritika is always a great support for her family it may happen that her brothers may turn out to be weak but she takes the whole responsibility on her shoulders and takes care of her whole family i personally admire women born in kritika they indeed are very strong women you can say that they are the modern age women who takes all the challenges of life and succeeds in attaining her goals and dreams remember the key is to meditate the key is to devote your time to god the key is to start chanting the holy mantra one beautiful holy and soothing mantra that can bring much prosperity and peace in your life is om ram krishna hari om ram krishna hari om ram krishna hari you will realize the power of chanting only when you start chanting
so get started because life is short i may be dead by tomorrow you may be dead by tomorrow we never know when the exit call would come we never know when the death will strike us so use this precious moment to grow inside out for the real growth is the growth within meditate and chant every day jai shri ganesha jai guru ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम